So today I'm going to be experimenting with a thin idea deck that I'm using. Now a few things are going to go wrong with this deck and I'm going to be adjusting it over the next week because I want to try to reimagine what Ithna can be. So right now I'm trying a push come to shove deck so you just move your opponent's units around and blow them up. Pretty simple. Um, yeah. So first things first, my opponent's gonna play a harpy like all monster players do. Harpy is just a ridiculous bronze card right now. You can't really nerf it enough. <laughs> like those eggs just are too useful. So my opponent's aware that he can lock um, ambush cards. It's just that fiend doesn't work on Morin. Uh, he should have tested for what it was. Here I'm going to get rid of the Harpy eggs, because why not? Now this might be considered a mistake, since that I could have saved the Dolphana <laughs> Trapper for later. My opponent must have uh, been reacting to the weirdness of how that works. It's just that Morin has a really high priority. You'll notice that this deck is pretty good at dealing with weather. We're going to start moving things into a, the melee row. One card that I'm probably going to switch into here is like a decoy or something. But, you know, sapping my opponent of all their weather is not that bad. Okay. Not exactly sure why he put it in like that. Uh, I guess because he wanted to get the weather on the melee row. This person really likes weather. <laughs> like, I would have gone for a last rate there, probably. And maybe he thinks I'm out of weather removal. This is kind of a situation where you wish you had Geralt Ard in your hand. so much clear weather so he's really pushing to win this round An option I had earlier was to do this and get some immune boosts out here. So I'm going to put it slightly to the side. Make sure they all have a little bit of armor. The armor will protect me from a bunch of different things that this opponent is trying to do, but I could have done this earlier and been safer from uh, his weather, but I was going to clear his weather eventually. Okay, I'm going to now pull this out, do another buff. Meme Boost is doing me pretty good services. Now, my opponent really wants to win this round. Not exactly sure why. If I were them, I would have passed. But this is the thing about a lot of players is that they want to win round one. This is a weird play by my opponent. Uh, he used his fiend already, so he doesn't have a way to really unlock this unless he has a shackles in his hand. 
and I know that at least one of the cards is either Gales or a Crone, because that's really what you kind of do here. Or he has both. Who knows? Who taught you to play like this? And I say, thanks, my friend. Yes. It's important to be polite. Now, he doesn't have any harpies going on to the next round, which is nice. I have the benefit of going second this round, this game. That helps me a lot with the card advantage. Okay. Here I decide I don't think I'm going to have to run into another weather card. Um, instead of moving my opponent's cards around, I'm going to just take one of my own cards and move it around. And so I take the Dwarven Mercenary. I mean the uh, Morin, and I move her up there. <laughs> I use the Dwarven Mercenary to move her up. It's another one of my movement cards. It's an 8 strength bronze that works with the strategy. I kind of assisted my opponent with this next card, I think. <laughs> I was not expecting to have to deal with a uh, commander's horn. But, and I also misinterpreted how this card works. I thought it hit all of the row, but they've changed it and made it only three adjacent units. At least was 12 strength worth value there, but I would rather um, the Manticore instead. Okay, I'm just going to play um, a Kieran. I win the round. Neither of us have any cards in our hands, so that's great. So I'm going to just try my best to get value in this round by passing. Even if he uh, plays a Harpy, I'm not upset. Who taught you to play like this? Because I, I can't really counter the uh, eggs well with uh, Geralt Ard. Like, I can destroy them, but it would just give him more strength on the board for this round. I'd rather win this round. There. I got a Commander's Horn, which is unfortunate. Because I don't have as many as the units I wanted. Usually I would use um, my leader ability on Commander's Horn to play it twice. Since I'm going to have a lot of units on the same row... Uh, Marigold's Hellstorm is arguably worse than Commander's Horn. <laughs> Depends on how this round goes. I think I'm going to take out Marigold's Hailstorm and replace it with a uh, Arrakis Venom, or a Manticore Venom, excuse me. Okay, well this is a good time as any to use Gerald Ard. Is Geralt Art is getting me 16 points of value, which is pretty good. Okay. All I have to do is not get an Elven Mercenary. And I win. Now I also had uh, Marigold's Hailstorm as another option. Which would have lowered his Griffin at least by three. Which would have given me uh, a victory as well. For all intents and purposes, that went pretty good. I hope you guys enjoyed this little... Um, 
te teaser video.